Hi, you're watching Charterhouse TV, and today we've got a pretty special video for you. We're here with Craig Timms, who's part of the ITC team behind Hello. the very special Parwise product, and we're going to take a closer look. So, Craig, thanks for being here. Thanks no for worries, thanks for having me along. No, no, absolutely our pleasure. Now, some of you will be aware of ITC. They're a brand that produce a whole world of products for really the marine and reef keeping hobby, but they're also part of a wider group, which includes the Senai range of products. And maybe some of you will know that from outside of the marine and reef keeping world. And Craig's a big part of the team there, and he's been absolutely integral to producing what we're gonna talk about today, which is the new Parwise. So Craig, tell us a little bit about it. So Parwise is, it's a light meter, not just a par meter. I know it's in the name, but um, yeah, the, the whole point of Parwise is to give everybody all of the right light parameters that they need for success in the tank. Um, you know, it's not just measuring par, we're measuring Spectrum, DLI, Kelvin Lux, um, a whole host of different light parameters, nice. which are really, really important to get right for your aquarium. Absolutely. So really, although ITC I've just mentioned is focused on the marine and reef keeping hobby, but really this is a product that can help anyone with an aquarium and maybe what wider than that? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the really cool things, or at least we think anyway, is that uh, we've got different calibrations for whether you use it in air or underwater, because that makes a massive difference to the way the light enters the tank. So right. let's say you've got some mangroves growing out the top and you want to give them some supplemental lighting to grow them. You're, you've got the right tool to be able to do that. Or maybe you're into growing orchids or other weird and wonderful stuff. Yeah, um, right. And you want to get that right as well. You know, it can be definitely used outside the aquarium world, but obviously our focus is reef keepers and um, everybody who wants to grow coral. Right, so that kind of, takes us into, I guess, the first question that I think most people are gonna ask is, why would I want a parwise? Now, we understand that light's important for any of those animals or organisms, yep. whether yep. it be plants, corals, or whatever it might be, but specifically this product, why does someone want this in their cabinet or in their arsenal of products to help them have a successful aquarium? It's, it's a really good question, and the, the whole point is, we are rubbish at seeing light as humans, right? So I thought you meant me and you. No, no, well, maybe because <laughs> we both wear glasses, but um, uh, we're both just rubbish at seeing, I think. But um, yeah, the whole point is um, everybody's got a different light. You know, yeah. there is not really one set of right light parameters for every coral in every tank. Right. Because the corals are going to be in different positions in the tank in different layers. Um, you're going to have a different day and night cycle, how long the light's on for. And, you know, we're rubbish at seeing colour, like I said. So people are going to tinker with their light settings because most lights have got controllable colour now. Yeah. Um, and you're going to give your tank a different spectrum. So PAR-wise allows the user to measure the amount of light going into their tank, so the PAR. Yeah. Most importantly, the spectrum that's going into the tank. So that's the colors of light going into the mm -hmm. tank. And then also the amount of time that light's going into the tank, which is called DLI, which is probably a parameter not many people are familiar, are familiar with. And that's daily light integral, which is essentially the amount of light over a 24 hour period. Right. So I kind of always try and summarize this as, um, if you want to change your photo period from eight hours to 10 hours, but keep the light level the same, mm -hmm. you can correctly turn down the lights the right same amount and deliver the right amount of uh, the same amount of light that you did over eight hours, but over 10. Okay. And you can go the other way as well. If you've got 10 hours and you want to shorten it to eight, yeah. um, you can increase your light level the right amount without you know, putting more light into the yeah. tank than and what you had done And deliver anything that's living in your aquarium or vivarium or wherever it might be. Yeah, exactly. Right light that it needs over a different time period. And this product is going to help you to achieve that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So it's called PAR-wise though, just for, for those that aren't aware, what exactly is PAR? What are we measuring here? So PAR is kind of like one of the almost throw it around <laughs> sort of light measurements. So PAR is photosynthetically active radiation. Right. So that is all of the light that falls between 400 and 700 nanometers. So basically blue all the way through the rainbow up to red. That is light that 
animals can use yeah. and plants, of course, um, for photosynthesis. Yeah, and I think something that a lot of you will have seen out there, particularly if you were looking at new lights or you're buying a new aquarium that comes with lights and, and you see this graph, this spectrum graph yeah. showing yeah. you what your light's outputting. And that is showing you the available light in that par range. Basically. It is, yeah. And that's the thing, you know, every light has got a different spectrum. Yeah. Um, they've got a different amount of brightness, which you are measuring with par. Mm -hmm. So par's kind of summarized as the quantity of light between 400 and 700 nanometers. Right. But it's really important to know that you can have a really high par level, yep. but it's the wrong spectrum. Right. So if you have 500 par, but it's all green, yeah. nothing's gonna live because photosynthesis doesn't occur in the green part of the spectrum. So you can actually waste a lot of energy um, by having the wrong spectrum. Yeah, yeah. And if you tune the spectrum correctly to what your animals need, then... Make sure you're utilising... The then you're getting the, the most out of your light and the animals are getting the most out of the light that they receive. Which actually, in the middle of an energy crisis, is probably quite helpful. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. You don't want to be running your light, what wattage that that light is using. Absolutely. Wasted, from a wasted spectrum. Absolutely. And, you know, there are still T5 lovers out there. Um, they're, they're hardcore, they're still going. Um, do you know what? There's nothing wrong with T5s other than the amount of energy they use and yeah, yeah. the fact you've got to change them every six months. But yeah. um, with power wise, you'd actually be able to see that spectral shift yeah. as the bulb gets older, mm -hmm. you'll see that the spectrum goes more red. Right. Um, and that's kind of quite a cool tool to see how your bulb is still performing. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's not something LEDs have because I guess most people are they're buying LEDs for now. However, so. many tens of thousands of hours. We hope so, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, nice. So for those people who have um, been, maybe been keeping certainly a high-end reef aquarium for some time, they may have encountered or used a PAR meter in the past. Yeah. But the PAR-wise is one that really one of the first ones we've seen really within the aquarium industry, if you like. I know it can be used outside of that. So what makes this different to those PAR meters that people might have used or seen or heard of before? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot out there. And obviously, us um, being a part of Senai, we've made light meters for yes, of nearly... 10, 12 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the big difference is we see color. And um, we're not just seeing how much light there is, we're seeing spectrum. Mm -hmm. So we're able to cut out the parts of the spectrum that are irrelevant towards par. Mm -hmm. um, because, and for good reason, you know, some of the big brands out there, they've got analog sensors and they accept parts of the uh, near UV range and add that into their PAR figure. Right. Um, we don't do that. So it can give you a false. Yeah, yeah. Thing, basically. It, can, it can artificially inflate it perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's different meters out there that are set up for different jobs. Some specifically just looking at sunlight, mm -hmm. some specifically for just indoors. And that's based on how they're uh, put together and what kind of filters and the lenses and things right. that are there. So but, you've obviously um, taken everything that you've learned from Senai particularly and then put yeah, it yeah, a for product sure. that is specifically I aimed mean, at... With, with Senai being our own product, you know, we, we always have had a basic light meter in there, yeah. but that's all it ever was, you know. Mm -hmm. Senai's main job is to protect fish. Yeah, yeah. That is where all of our IP and the majority of our technology goes. Mm -hmm. um, and then on from Senai, we built the Senai Spectra, mm -hmm. which is an awesome and one of the only or very few underwater spectrometers. And that thing can see every single nanometer of light from 400 to 700 nanometers. They're just crazy expensive. Yeah, so this um, is something that's a little more attainable. And this is kind of obvious. all of the benefits that you can get out of spectra because mm -hmm. of the fact you can read spectrum yeah. um, into something that everybody could afford to own. Yeah, um, you know, it's not it's not a cheap accessory by any shape or means, but it's a really useful tool that any aquarist who keeps a reef tank yeah. would really benefit from. So, okay, if you you've convinced me, right? Let's say you've convinced the people who are watching to go and buy a Parwise. So you, you purchase one of these, you get it home, you get it out of the box. Let's just talk a little bit about exactly how it works and what you need to do to get the most out of it. Okay, cool. So. Parwise, um, it's on a USB cable. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you can do is you can plug it into pretty much any modern PC. Um, if you've got some really ancient version of Windows that's <laughs> yeah. like fallen over, it's probably not gonna work. But um, yeah, it work on any PC, mm -hmm. it work on any Mac, MacBook, iMac, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. um, any Android device. Um, 
whether that be a tablet or uh, you know like a Kindle Fire tab yeah. type thing. Mm -hmm. So within uh, reason, phones. if it's got a USB port. Yeah, absolutely. So work. we include a, a USB-C adapter free of charge with it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next thing people are going to ask is, does it work on iPhone? Yeah. And it doesn't work on iOS <laughs> yet. Um, and simply because um, Apple don't allow USB OTG, right. uh, which is a connection standard that we use. Mm -hmm. And we kind of hope that when Apple switch to USB-C, because they're going to do it, for all of their products because of the new EU directives, mm -hmm. um, maybe they'll open it up. So let's, it just, let's just clarify that. It doesn't work on an iPhone. doesn't work on an iPhone. But there are other Apple devices that you can utilize it on. It works on anything that runs Mac OS. Right. If it's iPad, uh, so iPad OS or iOS, mm -hmm. so their mobile phones and their tablets, yeah. it won't yet work on those. Right, fair enough. Not so yet. you've got it out of the box, you've got USB, whether that's USB-C or it's standard USB, and then is there an app to download or is this? No, it's kind of cool. Uh, we have what we call a web app. Right. So the very first time you use it, you plug it in, um, you go to uh, www.par-wise.com slash app, mm -hmm. and yeah. then it will automatically download our software into your browser the very first time you use it. Without yeah. you knowing. Without you knowing. We'll just do that. It does ask you to Fair give enough. permission. That's your permission. It, it will do yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so you do have to. There's nothing you actively have to download. There's nothing you actively have to. You've well just got to visit the website, yeah. click connect to allow it to connect to the website. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's ready to work offline from there onwards. The only caveat is you have to use either Google Chrome mm -hmm. or Microsoft Edge as the web browser that accesses it. So you've got your device, you have got it plugged in via USB or USB-C, and you have decided the device that you're going to use it on. So clearly you've now, you're getting readings on yeah, this. On everything's this coming app. up on the screen. What, what should you be looking at? What, what, what exactly are you going to do with this data? Absolutely. So the, I think the first thing to do is obviously you're going to want to put it in a tank and then measure your favorite corals, whether that's going to be SPS or mm -hmm. some nice chalice, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to put that in there and there's a little pause button. So you hit that pause button on the screen and then that's going to save. It's not going to save, it's going to pause the reading. Yeah, yeah. So you can then take a screenshot and you right. can reference it later, mm -hmm. you know, write the results down. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you've done that, you've got all your individual results. Mm -hmm. You can then look at the spectrum that that coral's getting in that position. Yes. I mean, the spectrum is going to be, as long as you've got a good light with a good spread mm -hmm. um, and you're not getting a disco yeah. effect, yeah. Um, you're going to get broadly the same spectrum Across throughout the tank, but it will yeah. change by depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you're able to you know, make a screenshot of that and you know, save that for reference against mm -hmm. you know, available information in scientific papers if you want to go that far. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we are going to build a library on our website of um, lighting information, terminology, um, different spectral responses yeah. from different That was going organisms. to be my question, actually, is that, so, for example, if someone puts the PAR wise in their aquarium and they get a PAR reading and they get, they see what spectrum they're using and their coral is healthy, then clearly you go, ah, oh, that's doing okay. That's working for me. And but that's if a, it's not, then yeah. clearly you need a reference point or you need to understand what, what changes you should make. So you're yeah, going to try definitely. and help with that. And the that. thing is, you know, like I said, Lighting animals isn't just about par, it's about par, spectrum, and dear light. They are the three things you need for success. Yeah, yeah. And we kind of hope that people are going to start being able to share the full recipe yeah. rather than just, you know, adding a couple of eggs into the cake. Mm -hmm. You've got all of these things that you need to put in. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can say that my um, whatever Favia is mm -hmm. getting this uh, par, spectrum, DLI. What's yours getting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, hopefully build a community, you know, which is hobbies always yeah. great for, but continue to build on that. And, you know, the, the hobby's only done as well as it has done because people share course, their yeah. success, mm -hmm. their failures, mm -hmm. and what they did and didn't do, and what they've tried from other people yeah, to yeah. to improve on. And we hope that Parwise will be used in that way, so yeah. people have the full picture of all of their, yeah. their life. Yeah, it's just another tool to understand what's going on in your aquarium and yeah. why you are succeeding or maybe how you can make your aquarium more of a success, which at the end of the day is what we're all here for, whether it be watching this video or got to tank ourselves at home, yeah, for which sure. you know, we all have, I'm sure. So for people who have decided that the Parwise might be for them, how much does a Parwise cost? They're uh, 219 99 Right. So 220. Yeah. So look, we know that there are certain things in this hobby that aren't necessarily cheap, but actually compared to some of the other versions of par meters on the market that we've already spoken about, 
220-ish pounds is actually pretty attractive. Yeah, I mean, we tried to engineer as many features in as possible for a really, really awesome price, um, or we, we would like to think so anyway. Of course. Um, you know, compared to a lot of other stuff out there, you know, no one comes close, I, I don't think. Well, and you like to think so anyway. Yeah. We've got Spectrum, we've got DLI, and they're, they're two really big hitters that everybody needs. You know, yeah, it's not all just about power. And, and look, and, and a product that helps anyone be more successful with their aquarium or, or wherever it might be that they're growing can only be a good thing, and there's clearly value to that. So yeah. if you are interested in buying a Parwise, then obviously, or you want more information even, you can head over to the Parwise website. We'll put that on the screen and in the comments down below. Or as always, you can reach out to us, come and talk to our customer service team and we'd be more than happy to help. Um, but don't go anywhere, the video gets better. We have agreed with the support of ITC that we're gonna give one lucky watcher of this video a Parwise unit. And yeah. what you need to do to be in a chance of winning that is you need to not only like this video, you need to comment below this video and tell us why you think a Parwise will make your aquarium more successful. And you need to be subscribed to Charterhouse TV. And in a couple of weeks time, on all of our social media platforms, so make sure you're following those as well, we'll announce the one lucky winner of this actual Parwise unit. Yeah, brought it down fresh today. It was made, finished today. Yeah, just for one lucky subscriber. So as always, we hope that's been helpful, insightful, and given you uh, maybe food for thought as to whether this is a product that might help you with your aquarium. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.